The last stage of the Donauberg Landweg starts. Stage number four. Today's stage leads us from Friedigen via the Ziegelhütte to the Ruine Kallenberg. From there we continue on over a picturesque path past rocks to Schloss Brunnen and the Brunner Hülle. Later we go on to the Jägerhaus and through to Liebfrauenthal to Beuron Archavi. We set off from Friedingen. Passing along the Danube, the path leads us to the Ziegelhütte. The idyllically located mountain inn is indeed very inviting, but we'd had a good breakfast and go straight on to the Ruine Kallenberg. The castle was built in the 12th century and, until around 1800, was the residence of various noble families. Today, only parts of the castle remain, yet the view still remains a princely one. Hiking along breathtaking natural paths, we reach Schloss Brunnen after passing beech groves. The castle is privately owned and unfortunately can only be admired from the outside. We leave the hill and take the steep route down to the cave's Brunner Hülle and to the Jägerhaus Hülle. The caves here were so significant in the Stone Age that a stage of civilization from the Mesolithic period was even named after Beuron. From the Stone Age cave, we leave the Mark Donauberg Landweg for a short detour to the Jägerhaus. The midday break recharges our batteries for the last few kilometers. The road ahead leads us past pastures into Liebfrauenthal. The Lourdesgrotto is a small place of prayer and pilgrimage site located in beautiful surroundings. A gorgeous meadow path along the Danube takes us to Beuron Arch Abbey. We cast a glance into the richly decorated Baroque church. The monastery was mentioned for the first time over 1,000 years ago and is still to date the spiritual and cultural center of the Danube Valley. From Boiron, we take the next train back to Aldingen. The fourth stage showed us the pure Swabian Grand Canyon, the breakthrough valley of the young Danube. Including the lunch break, it took us six hours for the nearly 14-kilometer hike. We each had two big bottles of water. This was more than sufficient together with the drinks from the hunting lodge. The signposting at each intersection made orientation very easy. We found out about the opening hours of the restaurant in advance so that we weren't standing in front of closed doors. Our sturdy shoes proved to be a good choice on the Rudy paths. We had our rain gear with us, but we were able to leave it in our rucksacks. Overall, we can say, in terms of fitness, we're average, but managed the Donauberg Landweg well and experienced four days of pure nature with many highlights. Unfortunately, our adventure ends here. We enjoyed eventful and strenuous days, but it was more than worth it. <laughs>